Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shani, if you guys didn't know, and today I'm going to be doing a review on Coastal Scents Eyeshadow, some of their brushes. I'm going to do like a mini tutorial to show you guys how I got this eye look. Um, I'm also going to be showing you some of the products that I got from Coastal Scents because they did send me over some products and they're sponsoring this video. So thank you to Coastal Scents for sponsoring this video. So yeah, I'm just going to show you guys some of the products that I have from Coastal Scents. I'm going to swatch them for you guys, hopefully and show you how I got this look. I just said it like three times. So let's just go ahead and get started with this video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is this brush set that I got from Coastal Scents. Um, this is the 16 piece pearl set and it comes with 16 brushes and it also comes with a brush holder which looks like this. So you can hold your brushes. These brushes are really, really soft, which you guys will notice in the mini tutorial part of this video. But these brushes are so soft and I was really surprised because the only brushes that I have from Coastal Sense or I used to have from Coastal Sense is two of their blending brushes and that's where I started off. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get into these brushes so you guys can see up close what brushes they have in this set. And yeah. Okay, so moving on to the blushes that they sent me. These are all the blushes that they sent me. They're actually pretty pigmented, and I use this specific color as a eyeshadow on my eyes, and you guys will see that in the mini tutorial later on in the video, or if you guys just wanna skip to that part, I'll put like a timestamp or something like that. Hopefully I do it, but anyways, I use this on my eyes. They definitely have a wide range of blushes that's gonna work on every skin tone, so let's just go ahead and get into the swatches. Okay, so the next thing they sent me is this Revealed Matte Palette, and y'all, this was definitely a good idea because, believe it or not, I do have all the other Revealed Palettes, and yes, I've used them. I definitely used this one. This was my favorite palette. Like, do you guys see the colors in this? Y'all gotta get your hands on it. <laughs> this is a good palette. And then this one, I didn't really use this one at all, but I have it, so, so I just thought I would show you guys these shadows. I'm not going to swatch all of these palettes because this video is just going to be really long, but I just wanted to show you guys that I do have these Coastal Scents eyeshadows, and just because this video is sponsored by them and they did send me some of these products, I started off my collection with Coastal Scents. So, so don't think I'm trying to guess this company. Yeah, so these are all the palettes that I have from Coastal Scents. And I honestly think you guys should 
get your hand on one of them okay so obviously the reveal 2 palette is my favorite so i definitely think you guys should get this one if you don't know what to get get this one because i'm pretty sure you're going to use it and if you're more of a matte girl i would go with the new matte palette because you can't really go wrong so let's just go ahead and swatch this palette Okay, so moving on to their individual shadows. I'm not going to swatch all of these, but I'm going to swatch some and tell you guys my favorites. Um, so the first one is New Penny, which is this one right here. And this is how it looks on my hand. That is New Penny. The next one is Amber Lights, if I'm not mistaken, which is this one right here, this brown one. And it looks like this. And the next one is Maroon Berry, which is this purple shade right here. And that's what Maroon Berry looks like, if you guys can see that. Deep Roast right here. I'm not going to swatch it, but Deep Roast is pretty. And that's going to be it for these individual shadows. Advice about ordering their individual eyeshadows. I would just get the ones that have five stars and make sure you guys read their reviews because that will help you with picking out eyeshadows. Some of the eyeshadows can be hit or miss. You can find some bum eyeshadows or you'll find some shadows that don't necessarily work for you. So it is kind of hit or miss, but the eyeshadows are only $2 and then sometimes they go on sale for 99 cents. So you're just paying a dollar for these eyeshadows. So I think that's a really good way to build your eyeshadow collection. So yeah. I love these individual eyeshadows. I don't know if they're still called Hot Pots, but that's what they used to be called when I was ordering them like two years ago. Okay, so I think that's it for the swatches and showing you guys some of the stuff that I have from Coastal Scents. So let's just go ahead and get into the mini tutorial. Okay, so I think I'm going to... I don't know. I have so many options in front of me right now. Like, I don't know what eye look I want to do right now. I don't know. Okay, so I have some blushes right here that I feel like I'm going to use as eyeshadows. And then I have all of these Coastal Scents eyeshadows right here. And then I have my old Reveal palettes. This is so old. If you guys remember this and you still watch me, thank you guys so much because this is like where I started, you know? This is the only thing that I really could afford, to be honest. One dollar eyeshadows. I didn't have a job at the time. I think I was jobless for like almost two years, I think, and I was like living, not living off of my savings, but I was getting by off of my savings from the previous job that I quit. I was basically surviving off of um, the little, little, little bit of YouTube money that I was making back then. I remember I used to go to the library all the time to fill out applications and just do my research on Mac. And it's so crazy to look back and see how far that I've come. Like I've come so, so far and I'm still coming far because I'm not even where I wanna be at at all. I still have a lot of work to do. And just working with Coastal Scents is kind of like full circle because this is where i started i just kept going like i really didn't know what i was doing i was jobless i dropped out of school and it wasn't like i wasn't doing anything but basically i wasn't doing anything you know what i'm saying if that makes any sense at all but i just i've just come a long way and i'm proud of myself because i've come a long way i didn't give up even though everything was against me like i yeah I've just been through a lot and I'm just happy that I'm like I'm just happy that I'm continuing to grow and I'm not at just a standstill even though I feel like sometimes I really don't know what I'm doing it's just like you're doing something you know you're doing something that you love so just keep keep doing your thing you know keep doing your thing <laughs> okay so I have this look in my head so 
let me just try to see if I can like recreate it. You guys know how it is with the looks of my head and trying to recreate it. Sometimes it just doesn't come out too good. So I'm going to use this pink color right here because it keeps calling my name. I'll put the name on the screen, but I'm going to take this color right here. This is a blush, if I'm not mistaken. It's a blush. Um, and I'm going to use this and pop this into my crease and this is going to be my transition color. Hopefully this look comes out okay. You guys know that I like just randomly playing in eyeshadows. Okay, I really don't know where this look is going to go, but hopefully it goes to a good place. So I'm just taking that color and putting it in my crease. This is actually pretty pigmented. Like, I don't think I would wear this as a blush, but this is a really pretty color. If you guys were to wear this as a blush, I would go really, really light-handed with this because, yeah. Back when I first started ordering from Coastal Scents, um, I don't think they have blushes. I don't know. I might I might be wrong. Coastal Sense was my go-to place for eyeshadows. I would always go there. Coastal Sense and of course MAC. But I really couldn't even afford MAC at all. Coastal Sense was where it was at for me. And then sometimes they had their little seasonal sale where their eyeshadows were like 99 cents. And I remember it, it was around the holiday um, time. I think it was around Thanksgiving or Christmas. And I just put in a huge order. It wasn't a huge order. I think I ordered like I think I ordered like 30 or 20 eyeshadows if I'm not mistaken and like I said they were 99 cents so I had like 20 eyeshadows 20 individual eyeshadows that I could just play around with which was so good for me because I was just starting out with um freelancing and stuff like that I did not expect this video to be like so talkative. I'm kind of like annoyed at myself for talking so much, but hopefully you guys will enjoy this, hopefully. So Coastal Scents really allowed me to build my eyeshadow collection, which is probably why I'm so obsessed with individual eyeshadows. Like I'd rather buy individual eyeshadows than to buy a palette because sometimes I find myself ordering palettes because I want just one color out of it, which is a total waste of money so i think that's why i'm like obsessed with individual eyeshadows um and you can just like create your own palette and i think it looks really nice i don't know it's something about looking at individual eyeshadows is kind of satisfying to me am i weird probably oh and if you guys are new to my channel i do have a brow routine up on my channel so if you're interested in how i do my brows i'll link that video in my cards it'll probably pop up now i really don't know where i'm going with this look at all i'm just talking to you guys and playing in makeup <laughs> this is maroon berry from coastal scent and i think the quality of their eyeshadows has improved a little bit because they feel more buttery which i love so i'm just gonna pop this in the outer corner of my eye to deepen it up a little bit These eyeshadows don't have a lot of fallout at all either. And I'm doing this little padding motion just to build up the intensity in the outer corner. And then I'm going to blend it away when I get it to look how I want it to look. This is actually really pretty. I didn't even zoom up for you guys. I've been zoomed out the whole time. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so my battery went dead, so I just went ahead and did one eye off camera. If you guys hear noise in the background, it's my family. They just got home, so I can't really control what they're doing. So if you guys hear any noise, it's my family. Okay? Okay. So I already deepened the outer corner of my eye with maroon berry. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put this mobile eyelid color on real quick. So I'm going to cut my crease with some mixing medium and concealer that's left over on my brush. I'm not really cutting my crease, this is more so a half cut crease. So I'm just going to let that mixing medium get tacky. 
And then I'm going to put new penny on top of that, this color right here. And then I'm just going to deepen up my outer corner with some black. And this is a black individual shade from Coastal Sense. I think this is... Okay. I'll list it down below because it won't let me take it out of the palette. So I'm using this color to deepen up the outer corner of my eye. And this is a Coastal Sense brush from their pearl set. Is it called a pearl? pearl? Yeah. Then I'm gonna go back in with that purple to blend it out a little bit. Now I'm going to do a wing liner. I haven't done a wing liner in forever. Um, but we just gonna go ahead and do it today. All right, now lashes. I'm just priming my face while this glue gets tacky. And then I'm gonna speed through this foundation routine because it's the same or I'll probably just cut it out. But if you guys want a foundation routine, I'll link my foundation routine. Okay, so my foundation is on and I already highlighted and set my under eyes. Now I just need to set the rest of my face. Um, so I'm going to do that. Now we're going to contour real quick. These Coastal Sense brushes are actually pretty legit. They're really soft. Coastal Sense also has some blending brushes on their website that are really good too. And I used to have brushes from them, but I don't know where they went. Let's add some blush. Uh, okay, this is a Coastal Sense blush and this is Rosebud from Coastal Scents and I'm using this brush as well. Oh. Okay. That's a nice little color. Okay. So this is with no blush. Blush. No blush. Blush. It's like a little slight difference, but I like it. And this brush this brush is lit. Let's add a little bit of this blush. Taking a little bit of this blush. Take that. Okay. Okay, I think I'm doing it. <laughs> no. Just... Okay. Let's just wipe that away. That was <laughs> that was too much. So this is more my style. Like you can see it, but then again, you can't. Looks are like really chopped right now. I don't know what's going on. I've been like super duper dry lately and it's driving me insane. <laughs> okay, to smoke out my bottom lash line, I'm gonna take this color that I use as a transition color. And I don't know what brush this is, but this is from that little Coastal Scents Pearl set. And I'm just going to pop this right up under here this brush is really soft okay so i'm going to take this coastal sense express line in black and just line my bottom line with this mm, 
Okay, I feel like this liner needs to be a little more creamy. This is a little too rough for my eyes. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to add purple. The same purple that I used up here is what I'm using down here. so that is it for this video and this look that i created well this eye look i really hope you guys liked it if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up and comment down below thank you guys so much for coming back to watch another one of my videos and thank you so much coastal sense for sending me these products and sponsoring this video so i really hope you guys like this video as i already stated before and i will see you guys in my next upload bye